Today I want to show you this uh, small greenhouse. We have the plants up there and it's just underneath. It's actually built from pellets uh, with plastic all around and you can see it's 20 degrees 46 percent moisture because we live in Athens in Greece and it's pretty uh, dry weather Mediterranean, not so easy for mushrooms, but we still get uh, shiitakes. So here is uh, the blocks of shiitake after the first and the second flush when they start to get some mold. Uh, we put them in here and we, uh, so I take care of them to fruit. First thing we do is to wash them and dry them. So here they are in the sun with, with the plants. Uh, not sure it's right to be directly in the sun, but they dry pretty fast and this one was quite covered with mold, so there is a bit left here. But now it has nothing anymore. I just washed it and put it several times in the sun. They do after they are dry, so this one is still heavy. Look. Uh, heavy uh, when they are light like this one put them in here and okay start filling the water actually what I am doing is I will put them under water for uh, 12 hours and uh, after 12 hours I will uh, uh, put them out of the water to dry a bit outside and then I will put them in the in the fridge for uh, another 12 hours at least you can let them a bit more one day Sometimes I, I let them two days. They like to have this cold shock in addition to the water. Uh, I will show you again in 12 hours when I remove them. And um, put them in the fridge. And after the fridge, uh, I, I beat them and put them in there. This small greenhouse here. Just to comment about the moisture. This 47% uh, is act actually after humidifying all the greenhouse because it was like 30% this morning. So it's crazy these days how low the moisture is. So this one found the weather a bit too dry. It started crackling, making this flower pattern shiitake, these ones as well. Uh, but other ones I just take care of them so I show you like this especially the small you see in there there is this new mushroom growing and so I try to keep it moist all the time so it will grow more these ones are ready to pick, but this one will grow more. I spray them the more often possible, uh, but and I wash the whole blocks two times per day. So this one is still black here because I washed them this morning. Look, but after it needs to dry again, and we can wash them again. In in the evening, a 12 hour passed. It's time to get the water, the shiitake blocks out of the water. <coughs> so I found this uh, way to keep them under the water. And we put these four blocks in the fridge. And I will bring uh, the other blocks that has already spent some time in the fridge to show you. What happens? So now they are all wet, all black. Okay, the light is not very good. So 
night. This one didn't brown correctly, so it stayed white like this. But when they will dry, they will look more brown. These plugs uh, spend 24 hours in the fridge. Uh, usually I just let them 12 hours, but okay, I w it was not in a hurry, so usually they like to stay a bit more. So now I'm going to remove the, these ones and to put new ones instead. Uh, the one I just removed now, I will put them um, uh, I will beat them a little bit, I will show you, and then I will put them in the greenhouse Okay, that's it Okay, so this is the blocks we just removed. I just removed from the fridge. Okay, I will try to fit all these blocks inside because space is very tight. Put the blocks this way so they have like. Uh, Less, less flat surface. When I wash them, there is no water. If I put them like this, there, is the, there will be some water on the top that will stay there. While like this, the water will run away. So now I'm going to wait for the greenhouse. To wash the blocks. The mushrooms, everything. The mosses. And probably we'll get maybe 46. 45 percent now it's 37 so we'll get a bit more moisture but it won't be a lot I mean if the weather is not helping it's impossible to do all the work okay now it's 20 degrees 36 percent moisture still too dry I uh, have somehow to close it better to keep the moisture inside because really these mushrooms are suffering. Look at these crackles on the mushroom heads. Um, this first, th this block I think need to be harvested now. So I just take care of it and. So I try to remove the whole stem, usually, and the base that is on the so it leaves a little hole, but it's better than leaving a piece of stem like this. So you see, a little hole is left because the stem will probably be rot and there will be mold growing at this pl place so this one waited a bit too, mo too much it started to dry already in the block not too bad for a block that has already given many bl flashes before so now I will put this block here to, to dry near to the plants.